Hello everybody, it's Miranda here from the Ingvild Balm Design Team and I've got a tutorial to share with you guys today. What I'm going to be creating is a layout and it's based on the Prima BAP that they have on their blog every month. The sketch had a lot of dripping and misting and um, just some really fun elements on there. So I'm going to be using the following colors and the Ingvild Balm Chalk Edgers. This one is the Hydrangea. I'm going to be using Lime Pie, Rock Moss, Branch Bark, worn jeans and then the white one. Okay, so these are the ones I'm going to be working with. And anytime I'm going to be doing heavy backgrounds, I usually kind of play around with placing my embellishments down first loosely just to get an idea of where they're going to go. And then I take a pencil and I just very lightly sketch around my elements. And this is so I can do my stamping and misting and kind of go crazy with the chalk edgers and I'll know where my stuff is at. Because I don't want to waste any of my product. So just lightly sketching around here. And if anything is showing when I'm done, I can always just erase that off. Okay, so I'm just going to move my embellishments to the side. Okay. And the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Prima Reverse Brick Mask. And I'm just going to randomly ink around my drawn lines with the Branch Bark Ingled Bone. Um, chalk edger. Okay, you can control how dark or how light you go with this. I don't want full coverage. I'm just kind of randomly inking these all the way around. And just hold your stencil down pretty good so that it doesn't move and blur your lines. That is what it looks like so far. I'm going to go over here just a little bit too. And the great thing about these chalk edges is usually when you're stenciling, doing stencil work with one of these masks, you have to go clean it off immediately. You don't have to do that with these chalk edges. So it will come, you can let it sit for 30 minutes and the stuff will still wipe right off of there. Okay, so that is good for me. And I'm going to give this a quick, a quick heat set with my dryer just so that I don't smudge anything when I'm working on my other parts. Okay, now that this background part is completely dry, I'm going to use a different Prima mask. And this is from the Donna Downey line. And it's the, I think it's called the Posies. Really pretty flower one. So I'm just going to randomly go in and do some flowers. Just using my palette knife and some texture paste. Okay, the last step I want to do before I start using my chalk edgers to blend out the colors is I want to create a resist background. Um, you know, when you mist on top of that or use the chalk edgers on top of that, it's going to be like a, a pattern's going to show up only when you do that because I'm going to use clear embossing powder. And I'm just going to randomly stamp around the outside of my pencil lines. Then you just pour the embossing powder on top of it.
Okay, now I'm going to start inking my background. I'm going to be using the greens, the hydrangea, and the worn jeans. And I'm going to be using, just to make this blend a little bit easier, I'm going to be using some gum arabic. You can even use water, anything you want, just to get these to kind of blend into each other a little bit better. So I've just got a paintbrush here, and I'm going to start with my lightest color first, which is going to be my worn jeans. And I'm just going to lightly press, not very heavily, randomly on my background, putting the most pressure towards the front of the chalk edger. And it's got a nice tapered end to it, so it lets you be able to um, not have such harsh lines. It's not squared, you know. These are very ergonomic on the hands. They do not start making your hand cramp at all. And I'm just going over those areas where we did the resisting with the embossing powder. And those will really start to show through. And the texture paste that I'm masked with is a crackle texture paste. So if you go on top of that, it'll really let the crackle show through too. Now as you can see, as I'm going in and out of here, it's also kind of blending the brown, the um, branch bark that we did with the masks, with the brick stencil. So it just kind of makes everything blend together really nicely. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to start going in with my lighter green color, which is the Lime Pie. And this one is brand new. I just opened it up, so I'm not having to press down hardly at all on this one. Okay, now I'm going in with my darker green. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my hydrangea. Okay, now I'm going to take my paintbrush and go in with a little bit of the gum arabic. I'm just going to kind of blend these out just a little bit. It also adds like a gloss to them, makes it look really pretty. Okay, I'm taking a dry paper towel now, and I'm just rubbing over everything so that that resist embossing we did in the background will show up better. And it's just taking off a little bit because I let this dry thoroughly. And also on this BAP, there were some drips as well. It's just the color. So what I have done is I've taken just a spray bottle. Um, you can get these at any store. And I started using the hydrangea ink and putting it inside of this bottle. And how I did that, it is a little bit time consuming, but you just start inking your little plunger and then put it in here and shake it up. It probably took about 20 times of doing that to get the color dark enough to where I liked it. So now I'm just gonna randomly spray 
and get some drips going down. And drying them as I go. Okay, now I'm going to take one of the paint brushes and just kind of go in and create my own drips. Okay, my last step is I want to add some cheesecloth to make some extra texture there in the background. So I'm going to color this with the Worn Jeans Chalk Edger. This is perfect for dyeing things. I'm just going to randomly stamp all over it. And then when I get some of that on there, use a non-stick surface so you can get all messy. And then I'm going to spray some water to get it to blend together a little bit better. I'm not going for full coverage. I want it to be a little bit white, a little bit blue. So the cheesecloth is completely dried and you can see just how pretty it is. I had a little bit of the hydrangea on my fingers so if you can see it just kind of went in randomly on the cheesecloth and added a little bit of that color so it just ties everything in really well. So this is part one of the layouts you guys and I'm going to have a part two video where I'm just speeding it up and doing a voice voiceover just adding my other embellishments but just take out your chalk edgers and play with them y'all. There's so many cool techniques that you can achieve with them. One more tip to kind of help spread spread them and blend them as I have used baby oil which works really well if you don't have the gum arabic so definitely something to try but yeah just experiment you guys and have fun with it if you have any questions on anything I've done or just any of the properties of the chalk edgers leave me a comment down below and I will make sure to answer them and I thank you for watching bye y'all